Are you guys ready? It's done. It's been like four weeks. Three, two, one. Surprise. This is our new 24 scale course. I am so excited to play on this thing. It's been six hours since I um, clear coated it and I'm dying. I'm dying to play with it. I haven't played with it, like driven on the course since I uh, painted the plaster. I drove just a little bit on the plaster before I painted it, but we're gonna get right into this this video, guys. And I'm gonna sh <clears throat> explain to you guys how I did this. Um, learned some things along the way, and found this really cool site, um, Woodland Scenics, I think. And they do a lot of the model train stuff. After watching their stuff, I'd already plastered everything. And basically realized that I sucked, but I think it turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it. It's like the first pass, we got our little bridge. Yeah, I am happy with it. I'm excited to drive on this thing. So let's get into this video, how to, and then here comes some content on the new track. And I imagine we'll build one outside here soon too, but with my two young kids, generally the, uh, the time that I get free time is usually after dark, when the kids are in bed, and this is just easy. I'm hoping to get my son into this. Um, I'm pretty excited. So, with that being said, for the third time, let's let's get into the how-to video. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll let you know at the end of the video supplies that I use and whatnot. And uh, feel free to post questions and comments. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. Well, this is what I have so far, guys. It's like, hey, 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 all this stuff is not super secure, kitty. Come on. Go play somewhere else. So here's, here's what we have so far. This is going to be the finish. So you come down an elevator. I'm hoping an elevator. And then you start here again. Go play around over there. I'm going to leave all this open to play with, like, natural stuff, maybe. <clears throat> you can go up the super steep trail. Then I'm going to decorate with some different stuff. Go up the bumps, the long way, over the bridge. I'm going to do a wooden, like, a branch suspension bridge over there. And uh, right here, you crawl up here and... All this tunnel down here. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with this face over here yet. Come on, kitty. Um, I'm thinking, like I'm a big gamer, so. Hey, 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 come on. Chill, chill, chill. I know you wanna play. You wanna play Crawler, Crawler RC Cat, aren't you? Yeah, Crawler RC Cat. Hey, come on, but don't break the stuff till it's done. This is a problem I didn't foresee. Come on. What was I thinking? But I'm thinking about putting like a, you know, like, I don't know, Smite or League of Legends, like some camps, like in around places where you're just not really gonna be able to drive a lot. Like under, he under here, I know, kitty, there's an, a feeder gonna feed you. Chill. But yeah, the, the rest of the stuff that's not done up, we're gonna see what it ends up being. I don't know yet. This is my first one. I don't know. I put a lot of thought into this. I'm trying to do it as reasonable as possible. I like the open concepts, like the trails. I want it to look realistic, but at the same time, I also want like functional fun, multiple trails, terrain types, wood sticks, rocks type of thing. Hopefully it turns out good. Here we go, guys. It's no turning back now. Uh, one thing I learned and maybe wish I'd done a little different with the foam. Um, number one was not ruin the shirt that I'm wearing. It's a late family member's shirt. Um, 
that's a cool island where around the house but anyways um was along the edges there where I did like the lines to kind of con track containment. I wish I'd done like boulders, like a stop and go. Type there, there, I ruined the shirt. Uh, a stop and go type technique versus the the line technique that you see me using. Uh, I'm still, you know, thrilled with the way it turned out, but I'm trying to share with you guys what I learned that way. If anybody sees this video and you're thinking about making a course, you've got all the tips and tricks. There you have it. I added, scrapped that elevator idea and added a uh, ramp down. So, I wanted it to be a little more practical. Here we're doing some plaster. Oh my goodness, what a learning curve. Hold on to all four corners of your plaster, guys. I spent so much time having that stuff fold up on me and like you know you buy it so you want to get the most out of it and when it shrinks up into a, a wadded up wet cloth it's not very uh, efficient so make sure when you're dipping that into the into the water you're you got a hold of all four corners the shorter the piece the easier it is to handle um, and don't cheap out I, I came up just a little short on plaster went to Amazon and found some cheap stuff because I'd already spent um, quite a bit as far as plaster goes and a noticeable difference in the quality of the, uh, the materials used um, I was glad I spent the money in the end for the good stuff it seemed to work and hold up a lot better than the stuff I just finished up with Here we are guys, all plastered up, it's nice and cured. If you look there on the left, you can see the difference in the cheap plaster and the good plaster. Um, I really didn't go into the painting part with much of a plan. I originally was gonna paint the whole thing this color. Um, and then I seen some videos and I was like, oh, I'm gonna do some gray. I was gonna do the whole thing gray and just not do any brown, but um, I ended up kind of on the fly changing the plan painted all the uh, the undercourse that I drive on brown underneath too and that wound up being I was very glad I did that like it wound up being a good decision um, just to have that underneath of everything whether or not I painted gray on top of it or not was such a relief it's so tedious to paint that with a brush and uh, yeah it, it was a, a good move to paint all this stuff with the spray paint um, kind of lighten it up in areas and, and darker in other areas just with the, own, the same color you can like uh, get a nice variation on your shades by the distance okay guys so we got our brown down brown down I'm not so sure boop, boop. no you can't eat this here so knuckles <laughs> um, I originally wasn't going to paint all the this like the actual track and stuff but then I was like well I'm doing gray I wanted I kind of wanted everything that was off the ground to have like a, a rock structured look but I, I really don't know. I'm just winging this I've seen a lot of videos online I don't know we're just gonna see whoops how this ends up uh, looking I think it'll be cool once it turns out I got some texture stuff coming. <clears throat> um, yeah, we're going to paint this to look like terrain with a little bit of gray. Enjoy. So here we're brushing on our stone color. And I only used one color, you guys. It's uh, it's the pewter gray. And again, that'll be in the end of the video. Um, but with the Woodland Scenics Turf that I use... Um, I didn't really need many colors to kind of set off everything, but I did screw up, you guys, and I'm sorry. I'm upset that I didn't get it either, but my, uh, my camera stand broke that normally holds my phone, and I did not get a time lapse of putting on the actual texturing of the uh, track that turned out 
Amazing. I really was thrilled when that was done and, and happening. That just looks so cool to add that Woodland Scenics texture stuff. Those guys who do the model trains really, really take their time. <laughs> I mean, it was it was cool to do, and it, it really made the track come, to, come all together. But, yeah, the gray turned out good, too. Very tedious to brush on. Okay, guys, so we're getting close. I plastered and painted and stuff. Not 100% I'm digging the paint, but I seen these really cool videos on uh, YouTube from, um, I'll put the link in the description for their page. Uh, I can't think of the name off the top of my head. Wait, I have their stuff right up here, hold on. So Woodland Scenics has a great bunch of tutorials and they made me feel like crap about how mine looked. So I made a bunch of rocks or boulders, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to pop them off that foam. And then I'm going to hot glue them on top of the plaster. Go, go potty. So anyways, yeah, I made all these boulders and I'm going to paint them and pop them off the, uh, the foam and then put them on. So you've got several different little trails you can take, but anyways, just a little, little snippet of the update. So here are my key takeaways from the project with the foam, uh, depending on what shape you want, practice beforehand. Uh, I wish I would have stopped and went instead of continuous lines on the edges. Next takeaway is don't cheap out on plaster. Probably all supplies, but the, uh, the noticeable difference in the quality was uh, made me glad that I bought what I bought. The next tip I have is blow off the plaster dust when you're done plastering before you paint. If you notice, I did mine in the middle of painting. I was just spray painting, so I just spray, fade back, spray painted back over what blew off. But uh, yeah, take that time to do that before you paint. It'll save you a headache. So another important tip, on your first coat, spray paint everything the base color. You'll be glad you did. Brushing that, that gray in was very, very tedious. And as you guys can probably see, I've got some white spots that I missed. But spray paint it all, you'll save yourself the headache. And last but most importantly, take your time. Uh, this is one that I struggle with. Be patient. I was so ready to use this thing, but I tried not to let that get in the way. Uh, you don't want to, just like anything in life, do it in a hurry and have to redo it later. So take your time, do a good job, you'll be happy when you're done. If you haven't already and you like this video, please take a second and hit that subscribe button. Here is the list of materials that we used and quantities. You'll have to hit pause to get uh, the information in time probably. I didn't leave it on the page for very long or talk about any of it. And there we have it, guys. I really appreciate you guys watching. Sorry if I repeated myself between the videos and the time lapses, doing voiceovers. Um, I was just trying to make this as informative as possible. Um, can't wait to drive on this thing. Hopefully you guys tune in for some of those videos. Um, again, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time on Real Micro Entertainment. Thanks again.